Hi, everybody. It took me a few extra minutes to uh, go online. They've updated the It seems like every week I'm talking about the software. Uh, <laughs> they have updated the software again, and I had to re-sign in Facebook and do everything again. So it took me a little longer to get the software downloaded and everything going on. How you doing? How's everybody? Hope uh, hope things are great with you, uh, wherever you are in the world. I'm uh, in the backyard at the house here in Las Vegas. I uh, get to go back to Indiana this week, and I uh, got a couple really exciting things going on. Hey, Clay, good to see you, my friend. Man, that, uh, by the way, if you don't know Clay, and if you don't subscribe, this is one of the most brilliant people I've ever met. And I'm not, I say that to everybody, Clay, not just because you're here. And that new photo of you is absolutely fantastic. So, uh, love it. Love it. It's great. Chip, how are you? Man, it has been a while. I hope you're feeling good. I hope everything's great with you, man. Uh, Chip is a speaker pal of mine, uh, and he has done such great work for the hospital that I was delivered in. <laughs> yeah, they do have new buildings. Uh, they, I don't even know if they had buildings. It's been so long ago. But anyway, Chip is an awesome guy, and he's really making a making a difference out there in the world of healthcare. Marty Wolf, good to see you. Looking forward to talking to you again. And, and uh, check out Marty's show. Marty does a weekly uh, show that's uh, on syndicated national radio and uh, is also on the C-Suite podcast network. It's just fantastic, and I've been privileged to be his guest. And coming up again, Phil, hope things are good in Tampa. Good to see you. Yes, and uh, Chip has spoken for the folks at Schneck, which, uh, by the way, I'm uh, going to brag on my hometown hospital, won a Malcolm Baldridge Award. Uh, for the customer experience, which is pretty amazing for a small town hospital to do that. Hey, Bill, good to see you. Hope everybody's great. Hey, uh, just got a couple things tonight I want to pass along to you. Just kind of get your week kicked off and, and everything going great. Hey, Randall, thank you. R Randall Reader that you see on here is a, is a great pal of mine, and he does the most incredible. He, he dresses and performs as Will Rogers. And one of the reasons that Randall knows my birthday, <laughs> which is next Sunday, uh, is it's the same date that Will Rogers was born. I share a birth date with, uh, with real Will Rogers. So at least I know that Randall's always going to remember my birthday because it's the same as, as Will Rogers. Hey, Scott, I'm doing great. Hope all is good with you too, my friend. I hope everything is good. Hey, I just got a couple things I want to share with you tonight. Um, uh, uh, real quick to kind of start off our week. And um, one is uh, an apology. Uh, and I'm going to do another video about this here in a little bit, and I'll put it up on Facebook with all the, the details. But I know that many of you, and I'm so grateful for this, I know that so many of you were trying to get your copy of Iconic uh, when it first came out. And the, the response to this, I, 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 I make my living with words, and I can't come up with the ones to express my gratitude. Um, we blew through the initial stock that Amazon had and blew through the stock that was out there. And so a lot of folks, when they were trying to buy it, the, what Amazon was saying was going to be two or three weeks before you could get it. And I know how it is. I do the same thing. So then you put it off and then people end up not getting it. And, and it, it's, it, it's a dual edged sword from, from an author's perspective, you know, because on one hand, it's really exciting that, oh my gosh, they are out of stock. They blew through, you know, we're selling bunches. And then there's another part that you, you really get concerned and worried that you've lost your momentum and you weren't able to serve your friends and, and followers the way you want to. So one of the things that we did uh, was to offer folks here on Sunday sit down before and those on my mailing list that if you purchased Iconic, then I would send you free uh, an ebook version of my newly revised, uh, the, the book I did a few years back called What Customers Really Want. I'll send you the ebook for free. And then we have a 14-day audio program that also has a video and a workbook uh, on how to create personal distinction. I would send you both of those for free to thank you for getting that. So for we're going to extend that to everybody that gets the book, uh, just as our way of saying I'm sorry that there weren't enough copies at Amazon or weren't enough copies around to you know to, to serve you. So if you'd like to do that, um, you know if, if you're all going to buy it anyway, well, go ahead and do this. But if you'd like to do it. All you need to do is just send me a picture of you holding the book or send me a, a copy, you know, just do a screenshot of the receipt. Send it to iconic at scottmccain.com. Send it to iconic at scottmccain.com, and I'll send you the ebook and the audio course, and you'll get all that. It's my gift to you, and apology and thanks. But we're very excited about how this is going. Oh, man, it's just uh, uh, we had a company out of the blue order, 500 yesterday, so, or, or Friday, so it's just, just crazy. Uh, second thing I want to do, and I, I noticed I only got nine minutes before my battery runs out. I forgot to bring the extension cord out here, so this is really going to be quick, and if I disappear, it's because the battery's dead. Um, 
I had the chance to, uh, I, I, most of you know, I, I got my start as a kid in the student organization, the FFA. Now, back then it was known as Future Farmers of America, but so many of us were involved in other fields of agriculture that eventually it evolved and the name changed. They just made it FFA, kind of like 4-H, right? It just FFA, no, it's not like 4-H, but you know what I mean, where it, it not necessarily uh, is those three words, but it maintained the branding of the organization. So the National FFA Organization, they had their convention every year. Uh, when I was in, it was in Kansas City, then they moved it to Louisville for a while, moved it to Indianapolis, uh, and I and it's, it's shown gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage on RFD TV. And there were 65,000 people in Indianapolis this week for the FFA convention. Hey, Alan, another FFA or Of course, I know so well. And, and the other Alan, too. Hey, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Uh, really getting great reviews on it. I'm, I'm so grateful for that. Okay, so I'm, I'm watching the FFA convention, and my buddy Judson Lapley was one of the speakers and just knocked it out of the park. And uh, you probably know President Trump uh, spoke to the convention yesterday. But I saw the retiring address, and every one of the national officers gives a retiring address. It's one of the great thrills of my life was the chance as a national FFA officer to, to deliver a retiring address. And the retiring address from the national FFA president. Now, she is the first African-American female to, uh, to lead the organization. And that uh, really strikes because I got to follow, uh, in my year, I followed the first African-American national FFA officer, my friend Fred McClure, who uh, is still one of my close pals to this very day. Uh, oh, thank you, Jerry. I, I appreciate that. Um, I, I'm going to put the link on here to her speech uh, after we get signed off and all that. I'll, I will drop the link uh, on Facebook because it'll be, I promise, the best 17 minutes of your week. Um, that this, I think she's 21 years old, young lady, stood on a stage in front of 30,000 people right after the, pres the president of the United States, regardless of what you think about it, the president of the United States has just walked off the stage. She has escorted the president off the stage, and now she comes back and delivers this masterpiece. I I'm choking up telling you about it. It is the most, it, 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 I've got goosebumps telling you about it. it the speech is that good. Uh, and it, she talks about the importance of inclusion and the importance of respecting our differences and, and the things that really, really need to be said in this world today. And I'm not, that, that's not being political and the speech is not political in any way. But if you, uh, if you want to feel better about the world and if you want to feel better about the future of leadership, uh, if you want to feel better about where, where we can go in this country, you, you, you've got to take a look at this. It, it's one of the most, <sighs> Spectacular speeches I've heard. Thanks for saying that, Jerry. Hey, David, I know you're out there. I'm I, I, doing great here, and I know that uh, uh, Larry and Chris had a, a fantastic event. I, they dropped me a couple notes during the during the weekend. I know it was great. I wish I could have gotten there uh, for it. Uh, so I, I'm glad you had a great time. I look forward to crossing uh, paths with you soon, sometime soon, David. Uh, hey, Matt, I didn't know you were in here. Good to see you. Matt's a former national officer, too, and... Uh, uh, gosh, Matt, you've done so many things, uh, both in industry and in government, and uh, it, it really was. Were, were you there, Matt? I, I didn't know uh, if, if you were there this year or not, but uh, I couldn't get back to Indy, uh, but uh, watched, watched a good chunk of it on, on television, and, and man, I'm telling you, it was, just, it was just so inspiring. So do something good for yourself this week. Watch this speech. Just take a few moments and, and watch what this young lady has to say. And uh, I, I think you'll be moved. And thank you, uh, Alan. Appreciates your kind review of, of iconic. If you get iconic, uh, then I will send you this to make up for the fact that we didn't have enough there. And um, but if, if you don't get it, no big deal. We'll see you next Sunday, no matter what. Uh, next Sunday is my birthday, and I know my wife has something. Don't know what, but I know she's got something going on. So if I'm not here, it's simply because I have been kidnapped. If I am here. We'll just do a little birthday edition of, uh, of uh, Sunday Sit Down and, and have a good time there, too. I hope your week is absolutely spectacular. Thank you for those of you that, that chimed in and, and uh, said hello. Really, really appreciate that. And, and my hope and prayer is that you have a spectacular week this coming week. I get to go back to Indiana this week. I'm excited about that. I'm, uh, um, for those of you in the Indiana area, my, my old broadcasting pal, Patty Spittler. Patty and I did movie reviews together for about 10 years 
And um, she's just one of the most wonderful and generous people that you could ever imagine. She is the host of the nationally syndicated program Pet Pals and has also started a new program called Great Day that's, that's killing it. The ratings right now doing so great. And Patty is being inducted into the Indiana Broadcasters Hall of Fame uh, this week. So I've got to get back and be there and, and cheer her on. That's that's as good as it gets. So uh, get to go back for that and see family. Elisa, hey, I'll, I'll be running down to Crothersville at some point this week and uh, uh, doing all that and then uh, hit the road for some speeches coming up. So, hey, Chip, great to see you. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, it's you too, uh, buddy. You're, you're, you're out there making a difference. So thanks everybody. I hope your week is spectacular. If you get a chance to take a look at this speech, if, uh, if I can, uh, uh, provide something to you for, for getting the book iconic, that would be a privilege. And thank you for those of you that already have it. And uh, for those of you that are getting it, it's, it really means the world to me. I'm, I'm very grateful for that. All right, everybody. Thank you. I hope your week is nothing short of spectacular. Happy Halloween too. Almost forgot to say that. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you're going to dress up or get wild or do whatever, but uh, remember what uh, what happens on Facebook stays on Facebook. <laughs> so be careful. Thanks, everybody. Have a great week. Thanks for being here. Talk to you soon. Hey, Sheila, good grief. I was wondering where you were. I'm so glad you're here. I've been following what your posts are. So thanks for, for joining in. All right, everybody. Have a great week. My battery's about to die. See you soon. Thanks.